I'm in South Dakota. Oh, hi! Welcome once again to Creepy Cheapies, also known as Dr. Lady's Affordable Halloween Mask Recommendations. I, of course, am Sir Walter Raleigh, and tonight's mask comes to us from Trick or Treat Studios. Trick or Treat, the guys to be when it comes to uh, uh, raising the bar for, for affordable masks that are nice quality. Tonight's mask is from Trick or Treat Studios and it came out in the year 2012 for those of you who were not born yet in 2012 and it's none other than your old friend and relative Cousin Erie, host of Erie Magazine. Now the origin of Cousin Erie is thus. Back in the 1950s the EC comics were very famous horror comics dealing with uh, graphic gruesome scary subject matter. Now the EC comics were hosted by their own special host characters, namely the Crypt Keeper, the Vault Keeper, and the Old Witch. Now the EC comics were no longer around in the 1960s, so a decade or so later, uh, and by the way, uh, the 1960s did come after the 1950s, chronologically speaking, for those of you who may not be history buffs. In the 60s, Warren Publishing, the same folks behind the phenomenally successful Famous Monsters of Filmland, came out with something similar in, uh, in tone and content to the old DC Comics. And those were Creepy Magazine and Eerie Magazine, hosted by Cousin Eerie and Uncle Creepy. Let's see, the other way around. See, uh, Creepy Magazine had Uncle Creepy, Eerie Magazine had Cousin Eerie. You see how that works? Yeah. Now, Cousin Erie had been uh, done in mask form before by the famous Don Post Studios. In fact, there were several versions of Cousin Erie, and other artists have done their interpretations of Uncle Creepy and Cousin Erie since those days, but uh, pretty sure the Trick or Treat version, which I hold in my hand here, is the first licensed and authorized official one since the 1970s uh, era Don Post ones. Now, uh, old Cousin Erie here, I think his magazine came out in 1966, I believe. And, uh, well, you may not know this, but you know why they were called uh, uh, Eerie and Creepy? Because it was a, a, an homage, it was done deliberately as an homage to EC Comics. You see, Eerie, Creepy, E and C. You never thought of that, did you? I'll bet you didn't know that. I'll bet you didn't know it. In fact, I'm sure you didn't know it because it's completely not true. I just now made it up just to see if I could fool you. I had you for a second there, didn't I? Admit it, for a second there you thought that sounded kind of plausible, huh? I shouldn't have said it because it's completely not true and you know what? Somebody somewhere five years from now is going to write their college thesis on the history of horror comics and they're going to put in there, you see, you're creepy, and, and yeah, it's not true. I was just lying. Just, just, just as a little exercise to prove to you that you can't believe everything you see or hear in the media. I couldn't even say television or the internet, because I don't know where you'll see this, one or the other. I don't know. But anyway, that's not true about the E and C. But the part about the EC comics, well, never mind. Cousin Erie here, sculpted by none other than Justin Mabry, a phenomenally talented guy who keeps turning out these amazingly detailed and realistic and beautiful sculptures, very professional, always have a lot of character and a lot of personality. Uh, Justin is just so good at what he does that that's why we all hate him, you see. He makes the rest of us look bad, that's right. Now, the Cousin Eerie Mask, which came out in 2012, has the usual Trick or Treat Studios tag on it, and then additionally, I don't know if you can see this, it has an official tag which says, Cousin Eerie. That's true. It says Cousin E-E-I-R-I-E. -E -E. Really, Trick or Treat Studios? Come on, Trick or Treat label making people. How hard is it? It's just the word eerie. Now I could see if the mask's name was Thraxolotomy Xander Glurk and Bell the Burn Travag. Yeah, maybe you'd have trouble spelling it. But eerie? Really? I, I don't know whether this has been corrected. This is one of the first copies from way back in 2012 making it an antique by now, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is an early one. I don't know if they ever corrected this problem, so maybe you'll get one with Eerie spelled correctly, or maybe you'll get one that says Cousin Eirie. Uh, but in any case, it's a great mask, 
It's beautifully sculpted and nicely finished. It's got light brown hair and uh, eye slits right above Cousin Erie's eyes. And uh, I recommend it for uh, overweight or large individuals as far as wearing. Or I recommend it to mask collectors just to put in their collections because it's a cool thing of a very famous character that uh, everybody knows and remembers, especially now that they're reprinting a lot of the uh, Erie magazine stories. Uh, these come from Dark Horse Publishing, by the way. I should be getting paid for mentioning Dark Horse Publishing's Cousin Erie uh, uh, reprints. Yeah, but anyway, look for the great Trick or Treat Studios Cousin Erie mask because you'll be styling when E Irish eyes are smiling in your Trick or Treat Studios Cousin Erie mask. That's all for tonight. And until next week, don't forget, because I did, and look what happened to me.